to assess a specific irrigation schedule or to generate an irrigation schedule, Aquacrop needs to know what is the irrigation method. The knowledge of the irrigation method is required because it determines which fraction of the soil surface is wetted which will be 40 to 60% for furrow irrigation, 100% for sprinkler irrigation, maybe 30% for drip irrigation, and 100% for basin irrigation. The irrigation method is selected in the irrigation method tab sheet. One can select between sprinkler surface or drip irrigation. Let's take, for example, furrow irrigation. So by selecting furrow irrigation, aqua crops determines a default value for the percentage of the soil surface wetted, which is 80% for furrow. We can change it and indicative values for the percentage wetted are obtained by clicking on the Info button. Let's now have a closer look to the evaluation of an existing irrigation schedule. The user has to enter when the irrigation took place and how much water was applied, as well as the water quality. For the amount of water applied, aquacrop requires the net amount. It is the amount of water that infiltrated in the soil. To illustrate the evaluation of an irrigation schedule, let me enter some data. By clicking on the irrigation button in the main menu, I can update the irrigation management. I select the mode irrigation schedule. I specify the irrigation method, which is basin irrigation. And I specify the irrigation events. First, I specify when the irrigation was applied, the date are with reference to the planting date. So let's say that at day five, a net irrigation of 75 millimeters was applied. The next irrigation was on day 15, another irrigation on day 50, Another irrigation on day 65, always with 75 millimeters. The next irrigation on day 80. Then there was one on day 95 of the season. And finally, the last irrigation on day 110. In this menu, I can get an overview of my irrigation applications by clicking here on the plot of events. And it displays the irrigation application throughout the season. Let's now go to the main menu and run AquaCrop. After five days, 75 millimeters was applied. At day 15, another 75 millimeters. Then there was no more irrigation till day 50, a day 65, day 80, day 95, and finally the last one at day 110. In this graph, I can evaluate my irrigation schedule. The first remark is that around day 30, an irrigation seems to be missed. This resulted in a strong root zone depletion, which had affected the biomass production and crop transpiration. 
Another remark is that the water application at the beginning of the season, day 5, day 15, were a little bit exaggerated. There is an over-irrigation. Now, over-irrigation at the beginning of the season is not always wrong because that water will move under the root zone, but later in the season the root zone will expand and will find that water back. Nevertheless, it seems that there is too much water applied in the season. So let's first write down the results which we have. We have a biomass production of 14.3 tons, a yield of 7.5 tons. Here I can see that the amount of water applied was 525 millimeters. And in the production, I can look at the harvest index, which is 52.5 and at the ET water productivity, which is 1.44 kilogram yields per cubic meter of water lost by ET on the field. For the schedule which we evaluated, the biomass is 14.3 tons per hectare. We get 7.5 tons per hectare as dry yield. There was 525 millimeters of water applied as irrigation. The ET water productivity is 1.44 kilograms yield per cubic meter of water lost by evapotranspiration on the field. And the harvest index was 52.5%. Let's go back to my evaluation. So I can see that Maybe I apply too much water at day 5 and day 15 and that at day 30 an irrigation was missing. To remain with the same amount of water, let's now reduce our irrigation at day 5 and day 15 with 25 millimeters and put that 50 millimeters which we gain on day 30. So I return to the main menu. I return to my specified irrigation schedule and at day 5 I apply only 50 millimeters, also at day 15 and then the 50 millimeters which I gain I will put it on day 30. I write it at the end of the list. But AquaCrop has automatic day certain, and now I can specify that at day 30 there was an application depth of 50 millimeters. Let us run now changes in this irrigation schedule to assess it. I go back to the main menu, back to the run menu, and I run my simulation again. I can see that the biomass production increased and also the dry yield increased slightly. The amount of irrigation applied remains the same, 525, and the ET water productivity dropped. So I'm not doing a better job. The reason why the ET water productivity dropped, although the same amount of water is applied and I get a slightly higher yield, is that the yield increase is not sufficient to compensate increase of transpiration and of evaporation. Each time I apply water on the field, I lose water by evaporation. So the water productivity ratio of yield over ET is declining because the increase in ET is stronger than the increase in yield. For this update, we get a biomass production which is higher, 15.4, the yield slightly higher, 7.7. .7. We applied the same amount of water, but the ET water productivity dropped to 1.37 and also the harvest index decreased to 
So it seems that this adjustment in the irrigation schedule is not a better irrigation strategy. Let's now see what happens if we cut our irrigation at day 5 and at day 30, so that we only have one irrigation at the beginning of the season, which seems to be indeed more than enough. So I return to the main menu and I adjust my irrigation schedule. So by deleting the day and entering, that irrigation disappears. The same is true for the irrigation at day 30. So now I have an adjusted irrigation schedule which I need to evaluate. I go back to the main menu and run my irrigation again. My yield is still 7.5 tons, but the amount of water which I have applied is now 100 millimeters less, 425 millimeters. And the ET water productivity increased to 1.48. For this update of the irrigation schedule, we get 14.3 tons per hectare, a yield of 7.5 tons, but an irrigation amount of 100 millimeters less and a higher water productivity of 1.48 kilograms per cubic meter. And the harvest index is once again 52.5%. After this evaluation of the update, we can inform the farmer that he can get the same yield with 100 millimeters of water less. The ET water productivity increased from 1.44 to 1.48.